I'm Chim Kang from uh, Middle Corp Chinese News. I have a question for Minister Chan. Uh, in the press conference on the new cabinet lined up last year, uh, last July, you mentioned that the 4G team has no plan to uh, discuss or change support for uh, DPM Heng as leader. Is there a change now and why? And also a follow-up question that uh, you were chosen as DPM's deputy. So are you next in line in the succession? Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Xin Kang, for the questions. On the first question, prior to DPM Heng's decision to step aside, we were all working on the basis that the issue of succession has been settled. We were all entirely focused on making sure that Singapore can get through the COVID situation and emerge stronger. On the health side, on the economic side, and all other dimensions, we wanted Singapore to emerge stronger from this. Now that DPM has decided to step aside, we will need to relook at the issue of succession. We understand where DPM is coming from. We know that it has been a difficult decision for him, and he has done it in the best interest of Singapore. That is just Sweet Kid's character always thinking about what's best for Singapore and Singaporeans. So now, we will, the team will continue to remain focused on making sure that Singapore can emerge stronger from this COVID pandemic, and at the same time, to establish the foundations for our future success. In making any decision, all of us in the team will continue to put the interests of Singapore and Singaporeans foremost. Just as how we have been taught, how it has been shown to us, and how previous generations of leaders have all exemplified this. To your second question, when DPM Heng chose me as his deputy in 2018, and the team supported it, now that DPM has decided to step aside as a leader of the 4G, the 4G team should be given the opportunity to relook at the question of succession holistically. And we will make a collective decision on who will be the next leader for the 4G in due course. Now, having said that, I must add that our leadership succession plans goes beyond just choosing a leader. It is more than that. It is always about finding and forming the strongest team possible for Singapore so that Singapore have the best chance to defy the odds of history to not only survive but to thrive. And that we will continue to do and that is what our entire team is committed to do for Singapore and all Singaporeans. <laughs>